good day to everyone so in the last video we have discussed about the bernoulli's equation and bernoulli's theorem and its proof and its related problems so this uh, bernoulli's uh, theorem and bernoulli's equation is having very uh, different applications in uh, different uh, area of the fluid in the fluid dynamics so we are going to discuss about the couple of uh, applications uh, where this uh, bernoulli's theorem is actually used so the first application is so we are going to use the bernoulli's principle in the a leaky water tank so so the first uh, application you are going to consider is the leaky water tank so this is the water tank and the, the this point is the the hole as uh, the, the leaky the leakage point where uh, so the water is actually flowing from this uh, hole so the the distance between this uh, the, the surface of the water and the hole is actually taken as a h and the, the atmospheric pressure at this uh, surface of the water and uh, near the hole is actually taken as a p0 that is the atmospheric pressure p0 the, uh, the liquid is actually having the water is actually having the density of rho so our aim is we have to find out what is at what velocity uh, this uh, water is actually leaking from this uh, small hole so in which we are going to apply this uh, bernoulli's theorem or bernoulli's principle so if you look into this situation closely then you can uh, easily uh, Uh, find this. This water is actually moving with the speed of uh, uh, v zero. Suppose if we take this uh, the, the velocity, that means the downward velocity is taken as v zero, and uh, the velocity at this so at the, from this hole to uh, the outside is actually taken as v. And let us consider this the cross section area of this uh, water. This water tank is taken as a, and the cross section area of this small hole is taken as small a. so this situation is essentially the water is actually flowing from the large pipe to the a small hole okay in which the water is actually moving horizontally downwards from this large hole as there is a large uh, pipe and uh, from this hole it is actually moving in the in this direction with the cross section area of small a so the water is actually flowing through this uh, wide pipe must end entirely pass through the this is in the small narrow pipe so that the volume rate that means the volume rate of the the volume rate must be same for the both uh, as a large pipe as well as uh, the small hole suppose if you consider this is a large pipe and this is a small pipe then the uh, the rate of flow of, uh, must be same for this large pipe as well as the the small pipe and therefore we can relate this uh, so the velocity uh, near this hole and uh, the velocity of the horizon uh, the velocity of the water downwards velocity of the water v0 and we can relate this v0 on v along with the height h so that uh, through this bernoulli's equation so before going into that we can just to look at the what is the rate of flow so the rate of flow which we have considered uh, this which is the q which is equal to the small a and v is the uh, the rate of flow near the hole which is actually equal to this uh, uh, this uh, the red flow rate of this large pipe that means uh, which is having the cross sectional area of uh, capital a with the v0 therefore from this relation we can easily calculate what is v0 is v0 which is equal to small a divided by capital a into v so this is the relation on which we give from this we can find out the what is the the horizontal downwards velocity of the liquid through, which is passing through the large pipe and we already know this this uh, uh, capital a is actually much much uh, larger than the uh, the small uh, hole therefore the velocity is actually uh, actually in opposite direction that means that the v0 is actually much much lesser than the the velocity v that is the velocity in the near the the small hole that is actually much greater than the the velocity near the velocity of the water in the the large pipe so in order to apply this bernoulli's equation we can take this the water the whole point as a reference point uh, the reference point or the reference level for measuring the elevation that means that to measure the height h so we are going to note the pressure at the top of this tank uh, at the uh, and this how this velocity or uh, velocity of the water is actually varying with respect to height so we already know that the surface uh, near the surface and uh, near the hole of the water hole there is a small hole the pressure is actually equal to the atmospheric pressure because both the places are actually exposed to the atmosphere okay so we can write the bernoulli's equation for the uh, top of the tank as well as near the hole so near the top of the tank we can write the bernoulli's equation as p0 uh, plus half times of rho into v0 squared sorry v0 v0 squared plus rho into gh 
similarly we can write the a uh, bernoulli's equation for near the hole that means at the point of uh, at the near this uh, uh, hole so that we can write as c0 plus half into rho into v squared plus uh, rho into g which is this is actually the uh, h is actually zero that means this is this is the reference level so that we can put it as a zero so that this term will not be available here therefore the top of the tank car is represented by this equation as well as this uh, the equation i mean the a uh, hole is actually represented by this equation so that uh, we already know this the price which is going to be equal because the total energy is actually constant so that's why i'm just equating these two equation so the p0 plus half into rho p0 square plus rho into gh which is equal to p0 plus half into rho b square now we can see this this p0 and p0 will be get cancelled and you can uh, notice that this v0 is actually much much lesser than this v so that if you compare these both this uh, term is actually almost negligible so that we can eliminate this term from the equation therefore the remaining terms of rho gh which is equal to half into rho v squared so here this uh, rho and this rho will get cancelled so that uh, the remaining is uh, the v squared which is equal to 2 times of gh or i can write the v is equal to square root of 2 into g into h okay so this is the velocity of this water where depending upon which is actually depending upon the height so that so the v is actually directly proportional to the square root of this height since this uh, 2 and g is constant so that i can write the v is the velocity of the water is actually proportional to this square root of the height of the uh, water one can note this so this velocity is actually the same as the speed of an object would have a, uh, which is actually falling from the height of h this equation okay therefore from this equation we can note that the velocity of the flowing wall of flowing liquid through an a small hole is equal to that which a body attains in falling freely from the surface of the hole so this uh, theorem is this equation is also known as the the totally equation the totally equation or this uh, definition is actually known as the totally theorem so based on this theorem suppose if you have a small large water tank which is uh, suppose if you having a multiple holes in this uh, uh, water tank with uh, variable height so suppose uh, if you have uh, some four holes in this water I mean this water tank and uh, the height between this uh, the height is actually different for this uh, equal means that the tanks from this so the water surface so based on this equation the velocity of the water at this hole is actually smaller than the the next hole therefore the velocity the water is actually Move, uh, leaking from this hole, which is having a very less water, that means very very less velocity, so that it is actually taking this path. Suppose if you are looking into this uh, hole, that means the uh, the height from this uh, uh, water surface to this hole is actually much higher than the first hole, so that the water is actually having the velocity at uh, like this. Uh, similarly, the last one having the the more velocity, therefore the water is actually taking the some kind of parabolic path. Okay. suppose if this uh, so hole is actually situated from this uh, uh, water surface is taken as h is equal to some 4.9 meters so that we can easily find out what is the velocity of the water at this point just substituting the value of h into this equation so v is equal to square root of 2 into g is actually taken as a value of 9.8 into uh, 4.9 meters so that the velocity at the water at this point at this hole is taken as a uh, 9.8 meters per second so this is the velocity of this water so once if you know the surface I mean the uh, the height between this water surface and the hole then we can easily calculate the we calculate the what will be the velocity of the uh, water at this near this hole I mean, that means the what is the velocity of the water which is actually coming out of this hole so i can give the one more example sum for this uh, just applying this uh, torsley equation so the problem is so to calculate the velocity of the kerosene oil from a tank in which the pressure is actually given as uh, 33150 kg per meter cube above the atmospheric pressure and the density of the kerosene is given as 800 kg per meter cube so here the uh, height is actually not directly given but the pressure of this uh, uh, kerosene actually at this point is given as given so that we can uh, calculate the height so we h is equal to p divided by rho uh, so the the p is given as uh, 33150 divided by the uh the uh, density which is actually given as 800 kg per meter cube so that the value is nearly 43.94 meters so that uh, we know the 
height now so that we can just uh, substitute this into this uh, 2gh that is, is equal to 2 into 9.8 into 43.94 which is approximately equal to 29.35 meters per second so that is the the velocity the velocity of the kerosene from this tank suppose if the pressure is actually uh, that with the up to this much okay so similarly based on this uh, the task list theorem we can solve uh, the problems like problem uh, the similar kind of problems so the next application which we are going to see is the venturi meter so this venturi meter is actually uh, the actually, actually the device which is actually working on the based on the principle of the bernoulli's uh, principle uh, so this is a schematic diagram of the the venturi meter it is actually uh, used to measure the rate of flow of the liquid through the pipe so this uh, apparatus is actually consists of two wide uh, uh, canonical tubes which is having the value mentioned as a c1 and c2 which is actually connected by the another small tube which is having the area of cross section as small a and the, uh, the canonical tubes is having the area of cross section as capital a so the small tube which is actually connecting this uh, this canonical tube is actually known as the uh, the, uh, the throat that means is a small uh, uh, tube is actually known as the throat which is having the area of cross section as small a suppose if the flow, liquid is actually passing through this uh, uh, canonical tube canonical tube that means there are the uh, the the liquid is actually passing through this tube in this direction and is actually coming out of this uh, this uh, canonical tube c2 through this uh, throat so that the velocity is actually vary uh, with based on this cross section area of cross section uh, throughout this uh, tube suppose if you consider the flow is actually steady and uh, the v is the volume of the water which is actually flowing through is flowing through this uh, tube per second so that uh, the v can be written as uh, capital a into v1 let us consider this uh, v1 is the velocity of this canonical tubes and uh, uh, v2 is the velocity of the liquid near this throat so that uh, you can write this a into v1 is the volume of the water which is actually equal to this uh, small a into v2 because of this uh, the uh, the flow rate let me the uh, the equation of continuity this uh, flow rate will be equal in which this uh, v1 which is equal to the velocity of water or a liquid near c1 and the canonical tube c1 and c2 and v2 is the, the velocity of the liquid near the uh, throat that is mentioned as a t in this figure therefore from this relation i can easily find out the velocity v1 and v2 that is v1 which is equal to uh, uh, small capital a v divided by capital a and uh, the v2 which is equal to the v divided by small a so these are all the values of v1 and v2 so here this we can see this v2 is actually greater than this v1 because the velocity of the uh, liquid near this uh, cross section is small then the velocity is, is greater than this canonical large the which is the uh, the velocity of the liquid in the the larger cross sectional area so this v2 is greater than v1 consequently if you look into the pressure of this uh, uh, near, i mean the near, in pressure near this small area uh, that means there is a pressure at this point that the throat is actually smaller than the uh, pressure at this uh, canonical tube c1 and c2 therefore uh, if you connect the two uh, glass tubes near this uh, uh, the larger uh, canonical tube on the small throat with a it is considered the g1 and g2 are these two glasses so that the water is actually uh, go up uh, we go upwards into this two glass waters based on the pressure so the difference between the water level at this uh, glass tube and this glass tube is make the second this is a h so in the capital h which can be measured uh, suppose if you consider the p1 is the pressure at this uh, canonical tube p1 that is c1 and c2 and similarly the pressure p2 is uh, the p2 is the pressure near this uh, throat therefore therefore we can write this bernoulli's the bernoulli's equation for this uh, water flow since the water is actually moving in the horizontal direction there is no pressure difference in the in this uh, flow so so that we can uh, i mean uh, write the the bernoulli's equation as uh, p1 divided by uh, rho g plus v1 squared divided by 2 times of g that is the uh, the bernoulli's plus h is zero so that we don't have the Uh, the the gravitational head so that this part is will be equal to zero so therefore only this two kin kinetic energy as well as the potential energy will uh, uh, will uh, come into this picture and this is the bernoulli's equation for the uh, the the canonical tube c1 similarly we can write the equation for the throat 
which is actually equal to this uh, value. Therefore, P2 divided by rho into G plus V2 squared divided by 2G. So this would be equal, would be both, this, uh, value, both these values are equal, so that we can easily find out the, uh, the pressure difference P1 minus P2 divided by rho into G, which is actually equal to this V2 squared minus V1 squared divided by 2G. Therefore, the pressure difference between this uh, uh, C1 and T can be measured from this glass tube. That is actually given by this uh, uh, height difference between this liquid at glass one and uh, glass tube one and glass tube two. Let us take it as a H, and therefore uh, the pressure difference uh, can be given as so P1 minus P2. This can be written as H times of rho into G. So substituting these values into this equation, I will get H times of rho G divided by rho G which can be equal to this, the velocity difference V2 squared minus V1 squared divided by 2 times of G. However, we know the values of V1 and V2, which, can be, which we have derived here. The V1 value is V by capital A, and V2 is having the value of V divided by small a, so that we can substitute the values here, so that the equation can be written as this H rho G rho G will get cancelled, so that H is equal to uh, the two, 1 by 2g can be taken as outside and the v1, v2 squared can be written as uh, v squared divided by small a squared minus v squared divided by capital A squared. So if I take this v as outside, so that I will get the 1 and the v is, this is actually taken as v squared, so that I can, uh, I can easily calculate the so you can calculate the volume of the water flowing from the to this pipe and give a mean derived from this relation so that v squared can be written as v squared which is equal to uh, h times of uh, two times of h into g and this is taken if you take as lcm a squared uh, a squared and here a squared minus comma a squared sorry before going to this we just calculate this uh, this l right it just takes uh, lcm so x is equal to V squared divided by 2g and this if I take the LCM a squared a squared capital A squared minus small a squared and from this equation I can calculate the V squared which is equal to 2 times of hg into a squared so capital a squared and small a squared divided by uh, a squared minus small a squared or I can find out the value of V which can be equal to 2 times of hg uh, sorry so the a small a and capital A square root of uh, 2 times of uh, h times of g divided by a squared minus small a squared. Therefore, the rate of flow of uh, uh, water through this pipeline can be determined by measuring the, the, the uh, different the height difference h from the uh, to the from the glass tubes, and then we can measure if we know the the cross sectional area of the large and small tube tubes, then we can easily find out the the rate of flow of water which is actually moving through this venturi meter okay so using this equation we can solve the uh, several different uh, uh, the problems uh, in the based on the venturi meter the first problem is so the diameter of the throat of the venturi meter is given as 0 0.06 meter and when it is inserted to yeah, in a horizontal pipeline it is having the uh, radius of uh, diameter of 0 0.1 meter the pressure difference between the pipe and the throat is given as 0.08 meters of water. Therefore, we have to find out the what is the rate of flow. So we know this equation that is the rate of flow which is equal to uh, this capital A and small a square root of uh, 2 times of g into h divided by a squared minus so capital A squared minus small a squared. Here this uh, uh, the throat diameter is given as 0.06 so that the radius of the throat the radius of the throat is given as 0.03 meters. Similarly, the pipe is having the radius of 0.1, so that uh, the radius is actually having the, which is uh, equal to 0 0.05 meter, so that I can easily calculate the radius, I mean the area of uh, uh, cross section, that is the small a, which is equal to pi times of r squared, that is equal to pi times of 0 0.03, the whole squared, which is equal to uh, 2.826 into 10 power minus 3 meter squared. Similarly, I can calculate the area of the, the larger tube, which is again equal to pi times of 0 0.05 the whole squared, which is equal to 7.85 into 10 power minus 3 meter squared area of cross section of the larger pipe. And H is already given, H is equal to 
0.08 meters so that we got to find out what is the value of v just substituting all these values so the v which is equal to a is given as the so capital a is given as 7.85 into 10 power minus 3 into the small a is given as 2.826 into 10 power minus 3 or total into multiply by the 2 times of 9.8 into h is given as 0.08 minus divided by again 7.85 into 10 power minus 3 minus 2.826 into 10 power minus 3 and if you simplify this equation that is then simplify this number then we can get the value of v is equal to 3.793 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube per second so this is the the rate of flow of the water which is actually moving from this uh, venturi meter okay similarly i can solve the second problem so the second problem is so the diameter of the horizontal uh, water pipeline of the two points are given as 0 0.05 meter and 0 0.08 meters respectively so we have to calculate the difference in pressure between the two points suppose if the rate of the discharge of the water is given as 1.887 into uh, 10 power minus 3 meter cube per second. So here we know only the, the diameter of the tube as well as the water flow, the flow of water, it means the value of the flow of water. So how did we have to find out the first, we have to find out what is the velocity of the water at two different points. Then we have to apply this values into this Bernoulli's theorem to find out the what is the, the, the pressure, that means that the capital H in the equation. Okay. So suppose if you consider this V1 and uh, V2 are the velocities are the velocities of the flow at the two different points which is having the area of cross section as a1 and uh, a2 so therefore we can uh, from this equation of uh, equation of continuity we know that a1 v1 which is equal to a2 v2 which is actually equal to this uh, rate of discharge or rate of flow therefore the area of cross section of this a1 and a2 can be given as pi r1 squared and r2 squared so that uh, pi into r1 squared. So r1 squared is, is that, uh, the radius is actually taken as 0 0.025, the whole squared, which is equal to a2, a2, sorry, this is uh, squared into v1, which is equal to pi times of a2 is actually given as 0 0.04, the whole squared into v2. So that uh, which is equal to rate of flow, the rate of flow is given as 1.887 into 10 power minus 3. So that from this equation we can easily calculate the v1 which is equal to 1.887 into 10 power minus 3 so divided by pi into 0 0.025 whole square which is equal to 0 0.9615 meters per second. Similarly the v2 can be given as 1.887 into 10 power minus 3 divided by pi into 0 0.04 the whole square the final answer will be 0 0.3756 meters per second. Now we know this values of V1 and V2. Therefore, we can apply this the, the uh, Bernoulli's theorem so that I can write the pressure V1 divided by rho plus half into V1 squared, which is equal to pressure 2 divided by rho plus half into V2 squared. So that uh, the, the pressure difference between the as V1 minus V2, which can be given as rho divided by 2 into v1 squared minus v2 squared. Sorry, here this is actually p2 minus v1. Therefore, now I can substitute the values of rho and v1, v2 here. So, the pressure difference p2 minus v1, which can be given as rho is given as 1000 for the pure water divided by 2, and v1 is actually v1 squared is 0 0.9615 the whole squared minus. 0 0.3756 the whole square which can be given as the final answer will be 391.75 newton newton per meter square so that is the pressure difference so this is the pressure difference p2 minus c1 and suppose if you consider the h is the uh, the pressure uh, the h is the pressure difference uh, in terms of the uh, meters in water so that i can rewrite this h is equal to the pressure difference p2 minus c1 divided by rho into g that can be given as 391.75 divided by rho is again 1000 into 9.8 the final answer will be equal to 0 0.04 meters so that is the, the h value that means the higher the the value of height for the I mean the 
that means the pressure difference in terms of height uh, which is a h is equal to 0 0.04 uh, meters so in a similar way i can also solve the one more problem so a venturi meter has a pipe diameter of 0.2 meter and the throat is having the diameter of 0.15 meters so the levels of the water column in the two limbs differ by 0.1 meters so we have to calculate what is the amount of water discharging through the pipe for the one hour so the data is given is the density of the water is actually given as 1000 kg per meter cube so in order to solve this problem we have to find out the the area of cross sections uh, for the both the pipes uh, capital a and small a and then with the h with the height is given as 0.1 meters so that we can easily find out the uh, once if you calculate the area of cross section then we can substitute the various values into this uh, 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 equation that means uh, the venturi meter equation then you can find out the final answer so the capital a is can be given as pi into uh, r1 squared which is equal to 3.14 into r1 is given r1 is given as 0.1 so 0.1 the whole square so which is actually given as uh, 0.0314 meter squared similarly the small a given given as pi into r2 squared which is equal to 3.14 into 0.15 the whole squared the final answer of this is equal to 0.0177 meter squared so now we know the values of a and a and the h is already given as 0.1 meters therefore these values of these these data can be easily substituted in this venturi uh, meter equation b is equal to a a into square root of uh, 2 times of g into h divided by capital a square minus small a square which is equal to 0.0314 into 0.0017 into square root of uh, 2 into 9.8 into h is given as 0.1 meters divided by the, the same data value 0.0 314 squared minus 0 0.0177 squared okay so that if you do the uh, the calculation the final value which is equal to 0 0.03 meters cube per second so this is the total uh, uh, volume of the flowing water uh, through this uh, uh, tube so if you calculate this is for the one hour then we can uh, just take it for the 0 0.03 into 3600 meters per hour meter cube divided by hour so this 3600 in the 3600 seconds so that uh, we can find the v is equal to 108 meter cube plus hour so this is the total rate of flow of water per hour okay so i hope you uh, understood the applications of this in uh, uh, bernoulli theorem using the in the uh, the the, the Dothley's theorem and uh, the venturi meter and the related problems also you have understood so stop here and if you have any doubts then uh, we can discuss in the online class okay thank you